Dear students, in this video, we learn the concept of explanation based learning. Generally, humans appear to learn quite a lot from a single example. Example, if we touch the heat, it burns our hand. Explanation based learning extracts general rules from single example by explaining the example and generalizing the explanation. For example, the knight's attack on both the king and queen of the chessboard that is double simultaneous attack. The knight's attack on the king and queen on the chessboard is as shown below. The knight attack on both king and queen. This position is called fork because knight attacks both king and queen that is double simultaneous attack. In fork, the chess player should move the king thereby leaving the queen open to capture. So that is the rule in the fork. From this single experience, the player is able to learn quite about the fork trap. The idea is that if any piece X attacks both the opponent's king and another piece Y, then the piece Y will be last. In this example, here the knight attack both on the king and rook. So here the rook will be will be lost. The, the idea is that if any piece X attacks both the opponent's king and the another another piece Y, then the piece Y will be lost. We don't need to see dozens of positive and negative examples of four positions in order to draw these conclusions. From this one experience, we learn to avoid this trap in future and perhaps to use it to our own advantage. What makes such single example learning possible? The answer is knowledge. The chess player has plenty of domain specific knowledge including the rules of chess and previously acquired strategies. That knowledge is used to identify the critical aspects of the training example. In case of fork, we know that the double simultaneous attack is important while the precise position and type of attacking is not. So another example of double simultaneous attack here king, queen, rook all are in attack when the knight moves to this position. The strategy of explanation based learning unlike other methods EBL is not data intensive. EBL is analytical and knowledge intensive approach. EBL system learns to attempt from a single example X by explaining why X is an example for the target concept. The explanation is the generalized and the system's performance is improved through the ability of this knowledge. An EBL accepts four kinds of inputs. A training example, what the learner program sees in the world. A goal concept, a high level description of what the program is supposed to learn. A operational criteria, a description of which concepts are usable. A domain theory, a set of rules that describe relationships between objects and actions in a domain. In chess game, the, the goal concept might be bad position for black. Under a general under generalized under the operationalized concept would be generalized description of situation similar to the training example given in terms of pieces and their relative positions. The last input to EBL is domain theory in our case the rules of the chess game. From this EBL from this EBL computes a generalization of the training example that is sufficient not only to describe the goal concept but also satisfies the operational criteria. EBL generalization this has two steps explain and generalize. In explanation the domain theory is used to prove away all unimportant aspects of the training example with respect to the goal concept. In generalization, the explanation is generalized as far as possible while still describing the goal concept. The objective of EBL is to understand the essential properties of a particular concept. So we need to find out what makes an example part of a particular concept. So 
unlike first order inductive learning algorithm here we focus on one example instead of collecting multiple examples the ability to explain single example is known as domain theory from the above four parameters ebl uses the domain theory to find the training example that best describes the goal concept while building the while abiding by the operational criteria and keeping our justification as general as possible for this ebl involves two steps one is explanation and the other one is generalization explanation the general the domain theory is used to eliminate all the unimportant training example while retaining the important ones that best describe the goal concept generalization the, the explanation of the goal concept is made as general and widely applicable as possible this ensures that all cases are covered not just certain specific ones example in the chess gate first ebl step chooses to ignore white pawn kings white pawn king and rook and construct an explanation of white's knight black king and black queens each in their specific position next the explanation is generalized that is moving the pieces to different parts of the board is still bad for the black during the training the model generalizes the training example in such a way that all scenarios lead to the goal concept not just in specific cases post training ebl model tends to directly reach the hypothesis space involving the goal concept here in this example the goal concept here the goal is attained from three different uh, methods one is from this uh, subtree the goal can be attained from the second subtree also there is a possibility of attaining the goal the third method in the left hand side of this tree that subtree indicates that how the goal is attained with the method 3 so these are all the various methods of obtaining the goal from the given inputs and facts are identified by the ebl during training once the training is completed the learning happens after learning the facts can be directly moved to uh, the the goal can be directly identified from the basic facts in stuff going through the various paths in the from the constructed proof tree recap the basic ebl process works as per follows given an example construct a proof, a proof tree that the goal predicate applies to the example using the available background knowledge in parallel construct a generalized proof tree for the variableized goal using the same inference steps as in the original proof construct a new rule whose left hand side consists of the leaves of the proof tree and whose right hand side is the variableized goal drop any conditions that are the true regardless of the values of the variables in the goal so this is the architecture for ebl so from the inputs are are identified for the goal problem so the inputs are the specific goal problem and their corresponding external solutions that is given to the problem solver the problem solver understand the problem and identifies the explanation from the given inputs and it will generalize these rules and uh, using this generalizer and uh, knowledge base is built from the understanding of these generalization rules in this way this process is continued for all the inputs in imperfect theories and the ebl incomplete theory problem cannot be built explanations of specific problem because of missing knowledge in trackable theory problem have enough knowledge but not enough computer time to build specific explanation inconsistent theory problem can derive inconsistent results from a theory because of default rules inconsistencies may arise from missing knowledge example making the closed world assumption thank you for watching this video